Tremendous really sets a tone for all of us being able to be in a large, comfortable, open-based medrash, be able to sit together and comfortably be able to learn Bechavrusa without squashing against each other and really be able to to hear the, 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 the thunder and roar of the base Medrash. You walk into the beautiful new base Medrash and you could, there's always, there's always learning opportunities, there's always Bacham to learn with, to learn with Havrusa, extra, extra learning opportunities. They definitely enhanced my davening, that's for sure. One of the exciting things that we're doing this year, that actually we're starting, is a, a Chasora program. The Shiva has instituted a program where in every single year, uh, every boy who wants to be part of the program will Chazor every Mesechta that they've learned throughout high school. They walk out at the end really having a complete grasp of four Mesechtas, and it really instills in all the Talmidim the idea that learning is not for now. You have to understand it and make sure you hold on to it for the rest of your life. So this year, I am in 10th grade, so I am going to review Maseches Megillah, while the this year's 11th graders are going to be reviewing Maseches Tainas and Maseches Saita. So therefore, the goal is that when the 10th, 11th graders, and eventually the 9th graders from this year, and so on and so forth, will all will graduate, they will know the four Maseches cold. Imagine after four years, somebody walks out of here with over 200 blocks under their belt. I don't, there's, not gonna, there's no better motivator than the sense of accomplishment and the feeling, I know it. What we've been working on over the past few years since I came on as the General Studies Principal is giving a little bit, not just variety, but also uh, tracking within the general studies so that the boys have the ability to be in a class that's more appropriate to the level that they need but still pushes them to work hard. The latest addition to that has been the English language studies. Now the biggest change to the curriculum uh, is uh, the addition of an AP English language and composition course. It was inaugurated last year. Students did exceptionally well and the Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Tanler, the Rosh Hashiva, has made it possible for this program to coexist uh, in a very friendly way with the heart of the yeshiva, uh, there, with, without tension and with the sense that this is a real uh, opportunity for the boys and a, and a good addition to the curriculum. There is a great balance between the Lumudi Kaidish in MBY and the Lumudi Chol. The English program is, in MBY is incredibly well-rounded. Uh, Mr. Bernstein is a really great teacher. Math is my favorite subject. Um, I like math just because it makes sense to me. For some of the ninth graders, they have an executive skills studies class to help them with scheduling, with note-taking, with really an overall understanding of what it is required to study in high school. PE at MBY is great because Billy is a great trainer. I think the curriculum is really unique in the sense that um, it is a grounding in all of the skills that students would get, for example, if they were going to a very uh, exclusive prep school. There's a lot of different breakfast options in MBY. My Rose does eggs with sriracha and any other toppings you want. Boa's Amster and Shlomo Tashman do milkshakes with Oreos and whipped cream, different flavors of ice cream and caramel. Breakfast area, you get whatever you want. You get eggs, waffles, milkshakes. She has bagels, cereal, you get whatever you want. This year, we managed, with, with the help of David, we managed to start a after night seder chavrusa chabura for the fourth parak of Gitin. It's an amazing feeling to know that you accomplished a full masechta and that you know it well. Every couple of weeks, we try to arrange that one of the bachrim will himself prepare a chabura. He prepares a chabura on whatever topic he wants, sometimes in the masechta, sometimes just an interesting topic that he was interested in preparing. Incredibly valuable. So many skills involved, the responsibility of preparing, 
the responsibility of pulling together different pieces of information, organizing his mind in a coherent way, the delivery. There are actually a number of things going on um, after, after Meyer. There's, um, the Roshiva has his Dafyomi going on in one corner. There are always um, Bachrim who are just from time to time going to stay after to work on something, to finish something up. There's um, often a Chabura of alumni that learns in the other corner. So there's Baruch Hashem, there's a lot of action even after the school day is over in the base measures. Being a freshman at MUI is pretty fun. I heard MUI was a great school. And so far, MUI did live up to my expectations, and it's a really great school. The ninth grade is still the freshman of high school, but every year they're, they're definitely like the little brothers of MUI. There's a real feel of achdus between the, all the grades in MBY. All the grades get along. Being a freshman in MBY is pretty fun. I thought the 12th graders would be, or the, like, the older grades would be more like not talking to the freshies, but they're not, and they're really like nice. The learning is great. Uh, Rabbi Klein, my Rebbe, is very good Rebbe, and it makes it very, everything very clear. Throughout the year, the entire growth and the beautiful development of every single student is endangered by what he does in the 10 weeks of the summer. In the past five years, it's basically been Rabdava Tendler and I giving the shiurim. One of the nicest things about the summer program is that it really depends every year the sort of boys that are taking, taking uh, control of what the afternoons are about. They have trips in the afternoon and it really helps you keep what you gained throughout the school year and you don't just lose it right away. So last year we had people that were more musically talented, so there were many more kumzitzes, there were many more hikes. Some people are more uh, uh, you know, into, spo into sports and then we have more sporting activities. So every year it's really very different, it really depends on the alumnus or the uh, 12th grader that's, that's taking care of the boys in that, uh, that year. We're showing them how to, how, to, how to vacation. You vacation with serious learning and you vacation with structured ideas of what you're going to do, physical activity, wholesome activities, and I think it's something that they can use later on. I think one of the things which is distinctive about MBY is that the, the connection that began in high school continues throughout their lives as they come back and they pursue a career, start a family, and in respect to their learning, that really deepens the connection that they had with their Rebbe in high school. The Rebbeim are constantly learning with their alumni. They're, they're being called for advice, for halachic shilas, and I think that that's something which is distinct and unique. I don't think it's, it's something which is unheard of, as to have a high school that has such a deep and lasting connection with their Talmudim. I think it's rare to find um, a Rosh Hashiva with so much Kayach of Eitzah and so much to offer where there's so little self-interest and there's so little of a need to um, assert himself in terms of the discipline or demand the covet. and there's an incredible selfless style in running the yeshiva 
that I don't think the Bachim appreciate enough because they don't have what to compare it to. Shabbos during the summer and the fall, we have a Shal Shittis. First the Learning Seder, then a Shal Shittis at the Rosh Hashiva's house. And really, it feels like family. I think the boys are lucky to have him as a Rashiva because Rashiva is truly, truly concerned for what is best for them where they are. He's not trying to push a party line. He's not trying to mold them into the, his own image. And I think that that is something that is distinctive. Uh, the door is always open. There's always somebody there. MUI is so special because everybody's welcoming, everybody's warm. I love MUI because the teachers are great. The Rebbeim really care. You could uh, talk with anybody, talk with any of the Rebbeim, talk with any of the teachers. They're open to you. You could be open to them. In the Moody Kaidish, we have great interactive experience where the Rebbe gives a lot of information and you're able to learn by yourself before he goes over and cheer. One of the most rewarding feelings as a mechanic, as a Rebbe, is when we work on a Taisvist the entire morning, we're back and forth and the Bacharim are into it and they're trying to understand it. And then comes the moment, the moment when they get it. And you see it on their face, you know, there's a smile and that twinkle in their eye, like they got it. Four years later, when I walk into the Beis HaMedrash and I see the same Talmud who, you know, plugged on a Taisus trying to understand what Taisus said, is now learning the Taisus himself with his Chavrus and making Hachana for what I believe is the most lumdish Shashir in Los Angeles, Reb David's, Reb David's Shir. It's just a privilege to be a part of this. Knowing that in ninth grade I couldn't open a Gemara and, and lay in a Gemara, and to now being in twelfth grade where I can sit in an hour and a half second Seder Shir, and be able to lean an Ahmed by myself uh, with my Chavrusa every day, of course. It's, it's, it's something that's amazing. It's, it's unreal. Yeah.